Okay, so Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome to the class. Um, I hope I'm loud enough. Um, so we will just wait one more minute for some more students to come in and then we can start. Okay, um, if you can hear me, can you please raise your hands? And if not, then uh, make sure that you press the no, the no button, the cross sign. If you can hear me, please raise your hands or take wh whatever is suitable. And if you can't, then do a, do a cross that indicates no. Okay, I think we're ready to go now. So I will choose a Nasrat first for the, the prayer for learning, as we usually do. So, can I please have N477? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm good. Jazakallah. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. So, can you hear me properly and see the screen as well? Yes, I can. Jazakallah. Excellent. So, um, now I want you to read this dua over here. The Allahumma, that starts with Allahumma, okay? And start with, that start with Auzu Billah and then uh, go on to read this dua, okay? Allah, A'udhu Billah, Himni Shaitan, Rajeem, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Allah, Humma inni as aluka ailu ail fan man na fi an. Okay, so what if you have to pause here? If you had to pause here, what would you do? Um, you would. We are excellent. Well done. So, can you please read the translation as well? Okay. Oh Allah, I ask for your beneficial knowledge. Well done. And this is from Ibn Majah, um, Hadith number 90, um, 925. Okay. So, now I will choose an uh, as to read the next dua as well okay. so that both of, the, both of you guys can get the equal chance. So, can I please? have i'll make sure that you have your um video off don't don't show the video okay so i can see one person has your own so please turn that off so can i please have a four a four one eight a four one eight Okay, so um, can you please start with Auzu Billah and then read this dua, the next one? Rabbi, that starts with Rabbi. Okay. Auzu Billah, Himina Shaitan, Yerajim, Bismillah, Yerrahman, Yerrahim. Rabbi alimni maahu wa khayrun indaka. And if you have to stop here? Indaka. Now what if you have to pause here? It's different. Indak. Excellent. It's indak. Well done. So can you read the translation as well, please? Oh my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your knowledge. Excellent. Yeah, so this is from Taskira. Okay. So now, I'm going to both of you, um, N477 and A418 for starting us off. So, Jazakumullah. And um, I will be muting you now. Jazakumullah. Okay, so I was told uh, yesterday, I just wanted to, uh, uh, I want to clarify this to um, students that um, yesterday teacher um, accidentally said um, that the class is ending on, on the 24th of May. Um, it's actually 25th of May, which is Thursday. 
24th of May, it becomes Wednesday. So the official last uh, day for this online class um, is 25th of May. And it has been a great journey, Alhamdulillah. And I hope that everybody has learned something. Um, if not uh, anything, everything. So I um, really hope that you guys have benefited from this. And so um, it was told me to me that um, the, you finished at slide number 19. And now this, is, this one would be the last um, slide for the quiz. So I would choose two, uh, one Nasrat and one Atfal to um, answer questions, OK? So currently, um, Nasrat and Atfal are tied. So they have equal marks. So they have uh, 100 and, 111. So they're tied. So now um, we this slide will decide who will win. But if both of you get the answers right, so NASA and Fal, they get the, NASA, uh, the questions right, then you will have a, um, bonus questions uh, that are, will be based on the facts about the Quran. So the basic facts, they would not be hard. So whoever gets the that questions uh, the questions right first will get the will win the quiz. Okay, so now um, I will choose some students. Okay, so let me see who has not been chosen before. Can I please have N four six? Oh, I lost you. Sorry. Um, let me just find you again. Can I have um, N465? And Assalamu N465? Waalaikum Salaam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Now, sorry, one second. Okay, sorry for that. Um, so, is this N465? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So, your question is, do you know how to make a pause at the end of the following words? So I want you to go vertically, so down, um, and show me how to pause. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So start from, start now. Bunyana. Excellent. Narimatun. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was a mistake. Naima. Excellent. Well done. Shaku. Well done. Excellent. And then do the, the, the other row as well, please. This one. Arroya. No, um, these are blank letters. So they don't have any stroke, so you would not count these. You start with the Mutaharik, the first Mutaharik letter. Ruya. Excellent. Next one. Janun. Are you sure? Um. Um. So try again. Just, just think. What would be? Mm. Excellent. So do the whole thing again. So the whole word. Jan. Excellent. So this, so this, uh, what, uh, this can mean, it turns into um, Sakun. And this Mushlada stays as, uh, as it is. So it's Jan. So you give a bit of strength to the noon because it has Mushadat. Okay? Okay. Excellent. So the next one, please. Okay. No, that was a bit wrong. You went wrong up here. So what do you think you did wrong?
Soal Jan. So start from the beginning and then end the whole word again, please. Al hud Okay, no, so it would be al hud hud. So the next, this uh, uh, this heart also contains dhamma, and this contains dhamma too. Okay, so this would not be prolonged. So it would be al hud hud. Okay. Thank you. So um, now, so you had two mistakes um, on John uh, Al Hud Hud. So this will detect. Uh, detect um, so you have two marks less. So out of six, you will get four. Okay. Okay. So now let's see what how it's five do. Uh, and if they uh, get more marks than you, then our far team wins. Okay. So let's see. Let's go for the best. We can actually have A4, A445. Some of them A445. Some of them. Have you been chosen before for the quiz? Yes. Okay, so in that case, I will uh, mute you, okay? Exactly. Okay, so I'll choose someone else. Uh, okay. A414, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm fine too. So, have you been chosen before? Um, in the quiz. Yeah, yeah, in the quiz. No. Okay, excellent. So now it's your turn. So if you gain four marks, then you will make the far team win. Okay. Okay. So I want you, uh, so it's the same question for you. So do you know how to make a pause at the end of the following words? So I need you to start from here and do um, go vertically. So uh, straight down uh, and do these two columns. These up. So start with Bisu. Uh, and, and at Maula, okay? Okay. Bisu. Shai. Excellent. Juz up. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Juz up. Oh, sorry. I um. Can you try again, please? I can hear you. Just are uh, excellent. Next one, please. Moo don't. Hmm. No, not quite. Moo don't. No. So it's moo he. Okay. So you would not prolong this meme because it has the ma. The ma is should only be prolonged for one second, and then he he would be pro, uh, prolonged because ha has ya next to it, which is a letter of elongation. So mohi the so that that to uh, when it has fatha uh, sorry um tanween of the uh, tanween so you would uh, the tanween changes into sakun. So mohi mohi excellent. So next one, please. Nisa. Not quite. It would be Nisa. So this Hamza. Okay. Uh, do you remember the rule? We uh, we did it on lesson number two. So here, okay. This the same word came up. And the rule for this one was it says um, the rule for this one is that when you pause at Hamza that contains Fathatain, you will you will prolong it when you pause. So it's as if you had Alif next to it. And even if you don't have Alif, it, it will still be um, prolonged. So Nisa Okay, Nisa 
Excellent. So, okay, I will go back. Excellent. So, the last one, please. Maula. Excellent. Hmm. So, there seems to be uh, still a tie because um, Atfal did two mistakes and uh, Nasa did the two mis mistakes as well. So, you both got four out of six. So, now is the high time. Um, now, there will be bonus questions on the basic facts of Quran. Are you ready for it? Um, yes. Yeah. Excellent. So, Nasa, are you ready for it? Yes. Excellent. So, now, the first question for Nasrat, so N465 would be representing Nasrat, is, can you tell me the biggest chapter of the Quran and tell me the name of it as well? So, what chapter number it is and the name of the uh, chapter as well? Sorry, can you say that again, please? Okay, yeah, sure. So what's the biggest chapter in the Holy Quran? Um, and what's the name of that chapter? And uh, let me just tell, uh, parents are not allowed to help the children in this case because they need to have their own knowledge, okay? So try your best. You just do it on your own, okay? So what do you think? Surat al chapter 2. Excellent. Well done. Correct. So you get 3 out of 3 for this. So now we're moving on to um, Atfal. So Atfal, are you ready? Um, yes. Excellent. So can you tell me um, what's the last chapter uh, chapter number and what's its name? So the last chapter and what is the name of the last chapter? Is it Surah Nas? Excellent. And what chapter number is that? So remember, it's the last one. So how many do we have in total? 114. Excellent. So because it's the last one, how, what, uh, what um, number would it be? 114. Excellent. So still, you guys are tying. I will make the questions hard. Don't worry. Um, so the next one would be for Nasrat. What is the smallest chapter in the Holy Quran? Um, What's the smallest chapter? So you have 15 more seconds to go to Atfal. Oh, I will ask a, a, a different question to Atfal. So. Do you know Nasrat? No. So the smallest chapter. So, sorry, the, the smallest surah. I don't think I know. Okay. So it's Surah, surah al Kausar. Okay? Okay. The smallest and the easiest Surah to learn is Surah al Kausar. So do you know, uh, um, do you know, remember Surah al Kausar? Yes. So can you please recite it to me? Start with Auzubillah and um, recite it properly, um, properly and beautifully, please. Hauz Billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim Okay, sorry, one second. So it's not twa, okay? It's to. So Hauz Billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, not twa, okay? Okay. So try that again, please. 
It starts with Inna. Inna Ataina Kal Kose Sasali Abdika One Hal Inna Shania Kawal Abdi. Like, sense, so you know the dua, um, the surah. However, you haven't read it with, um, with the proper um, rules because um, I think that's the way you've learned. But we'll go to the Holy Quran and I want you to read uh, with the right rules, okay? So I'll go to this little closer. Let me see what that is. So do, you, do you remember the um chapter fossil closer? Um I Okay, um, it's okay, I'll find it. Okay. Let's see. It's this, okay? This one right here. So I want you to start with Bismillah and then read this uh, the surah with proper um, rules applied, okay? Sorry, one second. Sorry, one second. I can hear someone else uh, reciting the Surah Kosa as well. Uh, is it someone from the background or is it A414? Uh, I think it's A414. Okay, A414, I can still hear you. So uh, make sure that if you want to read it, read it in your mind, okay? A414? Okay. Okay, good. So N465, uh, sorry for interrupting. And can you start again, please? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Inna a'tayna kal Fasalli rabbika wan har Inna shani ka ka huwa al-abtar Okay, so mostly it's, it was read very beautifully um, and with uh, right rules but here I heard you saying ku so as in um, na a'atayna kal ku sir that's what I heard is that what you uh, is, that, is that what you recited? Um, no. Okay, so try again. I just want to hear again. Sorry. Excellent. Well done. And well done for remembering uh, the way to rec uh, to recite this letter, sir. Well done. And the next one. Uh, and sorry, the next mistake was here. Um. On the first one, uh, you did do the nasal sound. Uh, that was very good. But on the next one, you did not um, uh, do the nasal sound. So make sure that you um, make a nasal sound here. So in, uh, okay? Okay. So again. In, uh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, so the next mistake was that you said uh, who are Abdur. So, so remember this Ba. So Ba ha, uh, is a Kalkala letter, which means it needs to be, uh, you need to give a bit of jerk uh, because it has a Sakun. So, who are Abdur? Okay. Okay? Okay. So, overall, mashallah, very well done. So, always remember this is the smallest chapter, uh, sorry, smallest. Uh, um, surah and chapter two, yeah, I can say chapter, which is the same thing. Um, 
So now, because you got that answer wrong, uh, you didn't know it. So now I will go to uh, the um, go to A414. And if they get this question right now, the other question I'm going to ask, then as far wins. Okay? So let's see. A414, Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Okay. So now, this is the question that you can either get right or wrong. Okay, so I want you, the question for you is, what is the very first word that was revealed by Allah in the Holy Quran? It's a very one. Can you repeat it please? I can't hear you properly. Okay, yeah, sure. What's the very first word that was revealed by Allah in the Holy Quran? So the very first word. Um, is it Ikra? Well done, excellent. It is Ikra. Well done. Did you do it on your own, or did someone help you? Um, I did it on my own. Excellent. Well done, Afal. So you win. Congratulations. And well tried by NASA too. Okay, excellent. So now. N465 and A414, thank you very much. It uh, has been a really good um, competition. And at the end, as a win, oh, Nasat was really good too, okay? You were comp uh, good comp uh, comp uh, competitors. competitors. So, well done to each of you. So now, Jazakumullah, I'm going to you N465 and A414. Okay. Jazakumullah. Okay, so now we because we have less time, uh, our class will end. Um, the last class we have is on twenty fifth of May. So, what we will do is we'll move on to our lesson number four. Okay, so the lesson number four is hard words in Tilawat. So there's some really hard words to uh, in the Tilawat that we um, we cannot recite properly. So we will just practice some of them here. Okay. So what I want you to do is that um, we're doing this because it would be beneficial if the uh, if these following hard words are practiced, okay, um, time and time again. So I, when I choose an asrat uh, now, our uh, asfal, make sure that you read before with without observing a pause. So when you read it for the first time, uh, don't make a pause, and the second time, uh, please do a pause, and make sure that you apply all the rules that we have been. Uh, that you have been taught so far, okay? So let me choose a Nasrat um, now. So, can I please have if N479, Assalamualaikum. Walaikum Islam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too, Alhamdulillah. So, um, now we're going to do these hard words. Are you ready for them? Um, yeah. Okay. So the first one, uh, I think it's easy because it has come before, just before we did it, just now. So I want to recite this word, but on your own, please. Okay. Um, Without pausing first, and then pause, okay? Okay. I'll... Audu Billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman rahim Nisa No, without pausing Nisa No, no, no um, N479 so, uh, this is a tanweel. So, it's meant to give a noon sound, the un sound. So, start from the start, from the beginning, and then try to do it again, please. Okay. Nisa. Un. Excellent. So, well done for um, making, uh, prolonging this um, 
because it is what kind of, what kind of mada is it madde mata kabir excellent so it's a thick mad, um, uh, madde uh, mada so you should rec recognize that it's madde kabir excellent and the rule for this is for how many seconds should you prolong it for four excellent well done so um now what what if you have to pause how would you read it um you would read it nisa Mm -hmm. No, just no. make try again. Um, Nisa. No. What happens to the um, Tanween? Uh, the the the, the Fathatain, uh, this Tanween, when it has a Hamza. We did learn this. Um, let me just remind you. Uh, it's in lesson number two. So, hey, what do you think is happening when we are going to pause? Um, we add a vertical fatha. So, what does that mean? Um, that. How long should you prolong this for? Um, we prolong it for two seconds. Excellent. Yes, two seconds. So this is the same here. So how would you prolong this then? Um, Nisa. Excellent. So always make sure um, and keep in mind that whenever there's a Hamza, so this Hamza, with a Fathatain, so two uh, the Tanmeen, we can say, whenever they, uh, you have this and you have to pause here, whether or not you have Alif before it, you still have to prolong it, okay? So when you pause here, it changes to a uh, vertical fatha. Yeah. So nisa, ah, uh, ah, uh, sorry, okay? Yes. So how would you read the next one? Do you mean um, if we would pause? No, first um, do it when you're not pausing. Um. Um, lu, 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 uh... No, it's the same here. So it has fathatain, so it should give a new sound. I mean, yeah. Lu, lu, an. Excellent. Excellent. So because this alif is blank, so we will not consider this. So the blank letters don't count, okay? Okay. Excellent. So try again. How would you do it? Lu, 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 ah. No. No, when you're, when you're not, when you're not pausing. Um, lu, lu, an. Excellent. And when you're pausing? Lu, 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 ah. Try again. I mean, lu, lu, ah. Excellent. So the same rule that we applied here would be applied here. Why do you think? So we applied this rule over that this would be Nisa. So why do you think the same rule applies on this one as well? Because um, they're both Hamzas. Excellent. And what do they have in common? What do they carry? They both carry double strokes. Yeah, so they're called Fathatai. Or you, if you want to say it, the tanween. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So whenever there's a tanween of, uh, uh, on top of Hamza, then it, it would always be turned into a vertical fatha. So lu, lu, uh. Yeah. Okay. And another thing, that Hamza is uh, over top of wa. The, the, in this case, the, something that is over top of something, so in this case, Hamza is on over top of Wa. You should uh, always consider the top uh, one, the top one, okay? Yeah. So, because that's the most important one. So for example, um, let's take an example. For example, if you're sitting on the chair, you're on the top, on top of the chair, right? So you're more important than the chair is. So just keep that in mind. So Wa acts like a chair and Hamza is like, it's you. 
So obviously you, um, in this case, is important. You are important. So look, you are, we, we wouldn't say look, love, as in, we wouldn't pronounce this well. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. This is a more tricky one, as you can see. <laughs> so what would you think? How do you think you would read it when you're continuing? And for um, seven nine? Um did you say when you're continuing? Yeah, yeah. Iba dihil ulama u Excellent. And when you pause, when you pause? Iba dihil ulama ma Excellent. Well done. Well done, excellent, really good. So, what do you think you've done here when you pause? When you paused, we um, do we like jerk? Excellent. So, what does this uh, the mud turn into? Uh, a sagoon. Excellent. So, always remember that this the mud turns into sagoon. Very well remembered. Excellent. And four seven nine, really impressed. So. Um, so when you're continuing, you would read it as this. And when you have to uh, pause, and make sure that you give a bit of jerk here as well. So that may, that um, shows that there's a Hamza next. Otherwise, if you just say, and you don't give a jerk, you wouldn't know that the next letter would be Hamza. Okay? So now, this one is even trickier than the last one, the previous one. How would you think you would read this? Um, 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 um would we, uh, how, like, do you mean read it if we were, like, pausing? So, okay. <coughs> Sorry. Um, what I want you to do do is start with ibadihi, okay, and then read up to this last one, okay. So read. Wait, sorry, one second. Read up to here. Okay. So without without pausing. Okay. Ibadihi ulama ulazi. Uh, try again. Iba dihil ulama unelazi. Excellent. Now it's right. So you would include this noon when you're just continuing. So um, noon, the small noon, it comes before the verse, uh, the previous verse ends. So like this, here we have this end sign. However, if you're continuing and you don't stop at ulama, ulama then what happens is that, that this noon will be uh, pronounced as well. So, okay? However, this is a tricky question. Okay, What if you, have, you pause at this previous uh, verse and you have to start the next uh, letter, the next word? How do you do you think you should uh, you will pronounce this moon or would you just leave it? What do you think? Would you would you just start with lamb with a fatta? No. What is what is before for, uh, uh, before lam? Excellent. So um, when you're pausing, this noon uh, would be ignored, and we would start with this first uh, alif. So because Islam has a fatha, the alif would have fatha too. So it would be because you can't say lazi. No, it doesn't make sense. So you 
half a star form alif and give it a stroke of fatha. So allazi. Okay? Yeah. So Jazakumullah N479, you did really well. Um, Alhamdulillah. So just make sure of that Hamza, um, this Hamza rule. Okay? So whenever there's a fatha tain or tain, or whatoba for Hamza, um, and it just applies for fatatain, not for any other. Um, it doesn't. For, uh, it doesn't apply for kasatain or the dhamma, uh, the double dhamma. Okay, it doesn't apply for that. It just applies for fatatain. You have to prolong it when you're pausing. Okay, so thank you very much. And four seven nine once again. And now I will be muting you. Zakamullah. Okay, so now let's come. To a to Okay, let me just choose a four zero four. So, as a four zero four. Welcome, sir. Did I choose you before? What? Did I choose you before? Yes. So today, right? I chose you. In a quiz. I, 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 I choose you in a quiz. Sorry? I, 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 I choose you before. Today? No. Okay, so have you been chosen um, like in the last two weeks? Yes. Okay, so in that case, A404, I will meet you, okay? Is that fine? Okay. Zakmullah. And I will choose someone who has not been chosen before. So be honest, if you have not been chosen before, um, two weeks. So like in the last two weeks, you have not been chosen at, at all. So let me choose someone I think has not been chosen before. So, Assalamualaikum A429. A429, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum Assalam. Okay, so have you been chosen before? Um, yes. Uh, in the last two weeks? Um, yes. Okay. So in that case, I have to meet you, okay? Okay. So let me choose someone uh, else. Hmm. Who hasn't met before? So, Assalamualaikum A419. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Welcome, Is this A419? Yes. Okay. So, have you been chosen before in uh, the last two weeks? Uh, no. Okay, excellent. So, now I'll choose you. So, these, the, this last one, the, the this word is really hard. So this next line. So would you just try to attempt it? If and then it would be totally understandable if you don't get it right. But just try to just attempt it at first before meeting you. Okay. Okay. This Uma start with this. Okay. Uma min 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 man min min Excellent. So um, it's a really great way to just split the words and then read it um, because that's uh, the way when you start reading Holy Quran, that's the best way of reading uh, the Holy Quran in accurate way, okay? So um, well done. It was correct. Uh, when you read it uh, slowly, it was really good. So now uh, how would you read it? Uh, sorry. Now, can you please try to be a bit fast so that we can just practice? Okay. 
um oh ma mem 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 ma man ma ak okay so here so uma so man you don't you wouldn't say man you would just connect this meme to this the other meme here okay okay so i'll try to read it again and now it's even as harder for sometimes for me so let's try okay we're together in this so uma mem mem mam maka maka so when you're not pausing and when you pause it would be uma mem mem mam mak okay okay you try is try saying again try say it uma mem mem mam mam wait let me start again um Oma mem 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 wa ak. So you didn't read this. You didn't. You didn't read this. Let uh, this meme. You just read this meme. So, uma mem mem mam ma ak. Okay. Uma mem mem mam ma ak. Uma uma mem um uma mem mem no ma mem me mem man ma uma mem mem man that's fine you can just try again it's fine uma mem mem ma ma ak so other students i want you to practice like uh, practice as well so try uh, if you can do it okay so yeah Continue A four one seven one A four one nine. Sorry. Um. Oh my mem mem man ma ak. Excellent. Oh my mem mem man ma ak. Try again. Oh my mem mem man ma ak. Oh my mem mem man ma ak. Excellent. Well done. So um. I I think this would be a homework that you should uh, try to um, read this properly. Okay, so student um, homework for everyone. So try to read this um, uh, without stopping. So continuously. Okay, that's a challenge for you guys. Uh, if we'll see if you can um, read it without stopping. Okay, so like uma mem mem mam mak. If you can do this, then. Alhamdulillah, you can read hard words. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. But A for one, I keep on um, just practicing if you want um, afterwards. So for now, let's move on to the next one. Try saying this again. So saying this as well. Bahrulu do de. That's the kasra. So lu lu jij. So. It's a jim with a kasra. Try again. Okay. Ba ba rin lu jim ya. Okay. So um, you wouldn't do the nasal sound on when you're po uh, when you're connecting the ra with kasra tain and the slam with mushadat or shada. You wouldn't um. Have a new song. It would be Baharillo, not Rillo. Okay. Okay. So it would be read as Baharillo Jinyakusha. If you're pausing, okay. Okay. Try again, please. Baharillo V. Now try again. Try again. Bar. Sorry, sorry, one second. Sorry, that was an accident. Okay, yeah, go on. Start. Um, Baron will. No, um, pronounce this high as well. I can't really. Bah. To... Yeah, it's ex exactly. Bah, excellent. Bah, will, will. No, no nasal sound, please. Bah, bah, will, bah, will. Bahrulji, 
So Baharilloji. So try from uh, up to here. Baharilloji. Baharilloji. Ying Yagusha. Yagusha. Excellent. So now that you've separated it, um, now read the whole thing again. So Baharilloji. Yagusha. Bar Baharin Luji Yesha No. So Baharin Luji. So then again. Excellent. So try um splitting this. I'm reading it three times, okay? Read read Baharin Luji. Three times and then the other one three times two. Bahrilji Bahrilji Bahrilji. Excellent. And the next one? Um Bahrilji. No, no, the next one, not from Bah. Start with Jing Yagusha. Jing Yagusha. Jing Yagusha. Excellent. So now let's try to join this together, okay? So Baharilloji, that's where you stop. So Baharilloji. So now we're going to um, join them together. So Baharilloji Yagusha. Baharilloji Yagusha. 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 Yin Yagusha. Yin Yagusha. Excellent. So Yin Yagusha. Yin Yagusha. So Yin Yagusha. Excellent. Well done. So Baharilloji Yin Yagusha. Excellent. So um all the students, I want you to repeat these um uh, where we have been taught up to. So here I've taught up to uh, here. So I want you to just repeat these two lines, okay? And make sure that you know this very well, especially these the second line. Because these are are really hard I can understand that so but practice makes it perfect as I said before as well um, so now we have four minutes left so I would choose a Nasrat Nasrat now sorry um, so Jazakumullah A419 Jazakumullah excellent well tried it was really hard I can understand so let's choose someone else so N four six six. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Too, alhamdulillah. So, have you been chosen before for last two weeks? I have. Oh, okay. So, in that case, I have to meet you. Okay. Okay. Zakmula. So let's choose someone else. So, N four. Five eight. Assalamualaikum. Oh, I didn't. Oh, sorry, one second. So N four five eight. Assalamualaikum. Are you there? N four five eight. Okay, I can't hear you. So I think we have to move on. So, can I please have N461? Assalamualaikum. Welcome, Sam. Have you been chosen for the last two weeks? Yes. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I have to meet you, Zakamullah, for your honesty. Yes. Okay. So, now, hmm. Let's see. N478, Assalamualaikum. N478. N478. 
Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Well. So, Zakmullah, so have you been chosen before for the last two weeks? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so what I'll do now is the next student I choose because we just have one minute left. So it took me so like quite a lot to just choose a student who has not been chosen before. So because of the time purposes, um, I will, the next student I choose, I think, would read the um, Dua Khatma Quran. Okay, so I'll just choose randomly. No favorites. <laughs> just random, okay? I'll just close my eyes and see who I will choose, okay? So... Oh, I chose... N488. Assalamualaikum, N488. Assalamualaikum. Welcome, Slam. So, because we're running out of time, now I want you to read the prayer after reciting the Holy Quran. So, Dua Khatul Quran. Okay. Zakumullah. Start with Auzubillah. Auzubillah min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al-Azim. Wajal huli imam wa nur wa fudu wa rahmat. Excellent. Well done. You applied your rules. And just one thing, um, on meme, uh, there was just this one mistake, um, that you did not uh, do the nasal sound. So it's Allahumma hamni. So before you move on, try to uh, pause that meme and uh, uh, say it like Allahum, and then move on, okay? Okay. Excellent. So now please read the translation as well. Sorry. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance and the mercy. Excellent. Well read. So before we go, just this last word as well. So Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta alim. Okay. So this means, O oh Allah, accept this effort and service from us. For you are the most hearing, the most knowing. Amen. So from this note, um, I will be ending the class. So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.